I'd like to introduce now Y.T. Chang and Paul Drzajic, and they happen to be the guest editor for the issue and the chair of the MRS Bulletin Editorial Board. You're the guest editor. Thank you, gentlemen, for joining me. Yep, good morning. Um, let's talk about uh, the special issue. It's titled Materials and Engineering, Propelling Innovation. So give us some background on the focus of this issue, and uh, Paul, I'll begin with you. Sure. So. Um, I like the definition of engineering of turning materials into useful things and uh, processes. So if you think about that, engineering's really dependent on materials. On the flip side, new engineering and technologies enables the discovery and analysis of new materials. So they're really synergistic in, in that way. So the purpose of the article is to base, or the issue is to make, start a discussion on the relationship between engineering technologies, materials, and how they build off each other. You kind of highlight on how it's a unique relationship between the two, correct? Yes, yes. In fact, without materials, we wouldn't have any products. Mm -hmm. On the other hand, without engineering, we can't make product that's reliable, that's uh, low cost, and can uh, serve the uh, society's need. How has it changed over time, obviously? a lot of ways. Sure, I think the basic relationship has stayed the same. So an engineer tries to solve, solve a problem, finds a problem that needs to be uh, surmounted, and looks for new materials to help him solve, him or her to solve that problem. Uh, things have gotten a lot more sophisticated, so the tools in terms of discovery and application of new materials have uh, become a lot more, uh, a lot faster and a lot broader, but the, I think the quest of the engineer to do something new and to make it better and using materials to do it has remained relatively constant over the ages. I think I'll ask you both this, this question. Um, what are you hoping will be the takeaway from this issue? I'll start with you, YT. I think people will be very excited reading the articles in this uh, special volume because it covers a wide variety of materials and its engineering applications both from the mature areas of the technology like transportation, aerospace, infrastructure, to new technologies like in medicine. Are you looking to enhance the relationship between engineers and material researchers? I imagine you are. Well, that's, that's a given. But right. I think when, when the bulletin uh, does, does these special issues, I think this is the third in a series that we've done in the past, we actually have a broader audience in mind. So it's not only engineers, uh, material scientists, and uh, getting them excited, but business leaders, educators, uh, you know, sort of the lay public at large interested in this sort of thing, just to really highlight the important role of materials in engineering and how they interplay with each other. I imagine uh, it took a lot of planning for this issue, correct? Yeah, it's been, I think the earliest discussion I was able to find was almost two years ago. So it'll be about a two and a half year process before we're done. Wow, so we're about eight months away from December. Um, and so what still needs to be done before you actually go to publish? I bet uh, you have a lot on your hands right well, now. Well, we have to review the papers, mm -hmm. and we have to improve the quality of the papers, and also fundraising to uh, get funding to, because this issue will be distributed more widely than typical issues. So we need more money to uh, support the distribution, online uh, presence, and uh, uh, special events in the fall MRS to uh, uh, announce this issue. Yeah. But uh, getting the content in, so the early articles have started coming in, I've uh, been reviewing some of them. I'm really excited. We've got some really good content coming out. So I think it's just a matter of doing the things we already know how to do, right. uh, uh, getting the rest of the articles in, kind of buffed up as, uh, as YT says, and then we'll, we should be good, good to go. Wonderful. Well, we look forward to the special MRS Bulletin issue, and thank you, gentlemen, for joining me. Thank you very much. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you.